All right, we're going to go into the service and diagnostics mode. So with the unit powered up, displaying ready, we're going to hit star, and then we're going to hit pound, and then the password is 3253. Three. Then we're going to go into diagnostics mode. App is the um, mode that you use to create cards. That's the ready position. So we're going to hit 2 to go into diagnostics. Now in here there's a lot of different settings, uh, and it's important that you don't mess with anything that I don't instruct you to because if you do more than likely you'll be sending the unit back to me to calibrate. So once it's display service we're going to hit pound to go into diagnostics. There's a lot of different things in the menu. The way the basic uh, way the menu works is 8 and 2 take you up and down through the menu. Pound will select the menu option. If there is a sub-menu, 4 and 6 will take you between that. 0 will take you up a position. So it, uh, when we go into here, it's going to come up with Diagnostics Routine. We're going to hit 8 to go down the menu to Topper Parameters. We don't need to mess with uh, the table, so we're going to hit Pound to go past that. And right here is the temperature. So take it down using the 8 key. The 8 and the 2 will take you up and down on that too. So let's take it down 5 degrees. Whatever yours is displaying, take it down 5, to, subtract 5 degrees. And then pound. And then we're going to uh, hit 0. And then 0 again, that takes us up out of the menu. And then we do want to save the changes we just made, so we're going to hit pound to say yes. And we'll wait just a minute. Well, let's save into the uh, memory. Alright, so once back to service, then we'll just turn off the unit, wait about 3-4 seconds, turn it back on, it'll boot back up into the application mode, which means it's ready to print. And there's one more thing that we're going to uh, check here with this as well. So, there are, we're going to go ahead take the uh, foil cassette out. There are several cables back here. There's this sensor uh, right here. So we need to make sure that that sensor is connected. There's also a sensor that deals with the, uh, the temperature right here. This uh, There's two bigger sen uh, sensors. There's one half that size right here. We want to make sure that that's seated properly because these things will come apart. The way these sensors work is there's a little release that if you depress, you can pull it out. So we want to make sure that those are firmly seated. So again, this small, smaller one underneath, this is the topper. Make sure that that's fully connected. Make sure that this sensor on the inside is fully connected. And then we're gonna go ahead, and I can't do this one-handed, but carefully, very carefully, so you don't pull wires out pull this apart and uh, reset it uh, and then there's two others under here as well so just one at a time pull them apart and then reset them this is the heater right here so this is the one that's probably an issue if it is that uh, issue and there's one more right here so there's a total of three um, the main one Probably best just to reseat all of them so you get it, but this topper heater is the one that we're more interested in. Uh, the rest of them, that's a that's the solenoid which makes it go up and down there, and then uh, the other one is the motor. So again, this sensor, this sensor, and then uh, if you can find the one that says topper heat, reseat that one. But if not, uh, just go ahead and do all three of those white connectors. And, and it, it might be a little difficult to pull them apart, so just be really careful. Put constant pressure until they come apart, and then just push them firmly back together. So uh, we need to do those two things, um, and if that doesn't work, then we're going to need to bring this, machine, this unit back.